What's going on guys? Good morning. It is uh, 10.45 on Tuesday, the 19th, October. Um, this is just going to be the intro, basically, to my uh, my 3,000 mile slash 4 month ownership video of the, the M3. Um, I didn't want to, I want to make it something a little interesting, not just a walk around video of the car, just me talking about it. So I'm going to take it somewhere kind of a little bit special to me, um, after I have a little workout at the gym. Um, but we're going to cruise out to Dixon, Illinois, which is just a place I, I kind of take every car to take some pictures. It's a spot that I like to go to that, uh, uh, I, I take every car and just kind of enjoy my time out there. So that's where we're going to go. And then I'm going to. I'm going to tell you guys how I feel about this thing out there, and uh, yeah, we're going to make a day out of it, so appreciate you guys watching, and I'll uh, see you guys after the gym. Just pulled into uh, the riverfront in Dixon, and uh, this is exactly why I really enjoy it here. It's really the only place around uh, where I live in Illinois that reminds you of my uh, place where I lived in Michigan. So come here, do some fishing, and just and, uh, enjoy the riverfront. But anyways, we'll get to uh, the real reason I'm here for this video uh, in a second. going on guys I basically just pulled over on the side of the road at a little roadside park right outside of Dixon just want to give you guys a little overview summary of what I think of this car and uh, my just on the way here rolled over my 3,000 mile ownership and to the day four months ago uh, purchase of it um, but like I said just want to give you an overview I bought it from a dealership in Wisconsin uh, called Apex Motorsports. The guys over there were amazing and great, easy to work with. So if you're looking for any cool Porsches, BMWs, that's kind of what they specialize in, whatever, go hit them up. But out the door for this thing from the dealership, I paid $22,000, 150,000 miles on the chassis and about a 60,000 mile motor installed out of a wrecked car, a wrecked vert actually. Um, with an estimated 60,000 miles. I don't know the exact mileage on the motor. There's no record of it. All I have is a uh, record of the, the motor being uh, installed. And that's about it, nothing else, no details. Um, but that's not the end cost I paid for this thing as Wisconsin uh, does not collect taxes when purchasing uh, as a Illinois resident. Uh, so coming back in Illinois, I had to pay an additional about $1,900 uh, in taxes. So just about a total of 24 grand for this 150,000 mile chassis, 60,000 mile motor, 2008 slick top uh, E90 M3. All right, so purchasing this car, I knew that the vehicle had tons of maintenance done to it by a local shop in Chicago called EP3. Uh, super well known for some great work, great cars coming out of there, great guys. Uh, and so I knew this car was well maintained. I had spoke to the, uh, to the shop, inquired about the work that was done, and they had assured me that this car, even though it has 150,000 miles on the chassis, this thing has some freaking great bones and is an amazing car at a good price. So uh, that is actually, they're the reason why I pulled the trigger on the car. I was, I was a little hesitant because of the mileage uh, and because of the unknown history of the vehicle, I was a little hesitant on it, um, but decided to pull the trigger on it because of them, uh, because I trust them. To continue on the whole maintenance thing, uh, the, only, the only maintenance I've done to it myself has been an oil change at 2,500 miles. Um, I used OEM BMW oil uh, OEM BMW filter. I paid 
total about $150 for both the oil and the filter as I do get a discount as I am a BMW Mini employee uh, and employed by the company so I get a decent discount. Um, so it's, a, it's definitely not a cheap car to maintain uh, just for one oil change, you know, it's probably close to $200 if you're going to do it yourself buying uh, 10 quarts of oil, an oil filter, drain plugs if you replace them and oil rings and stuff like that. Um, so definitely not a cheap car to maintain, but, um, you know, it's worth it. Um, other thing I did was a Blackstone Labs oil analysis, which is about another $40, I think it is for the Blackstone Labs oil analysis. Um, but again, uh, which I'm still, I'm still waiting on the results for. Uh, so I'm hopeful, I'm hopeful that, uh, that things are good from, uh, from Blackstone Labs, I, I hear good things. But uh, yeah, so total I spent probably about $200 just in the last four months. And that's only on oil change and a Blackstone Labs oil analysis. All right, so usability and practicality of this thing. Um, obviously, it is a large, well, about 3,500 pound car, I believe it is, um, <laughs> with a 415 horsepower, 420 horsepower, uh, V8 S65 um, four door sedan trunk space uh, I keep all my fishing gear in here 24 7 as I love to go fishing I got trash I've got uh, parts that still need to be stalled fishing poles you name it uh, these this, this stays in here 24 7 I, I use this thing um, I've pretty much daily driven it since I've had it. I do have a 2021 Mini Cooper um, that uh, I have kind of put to the side while I've been trying to, you know, make sure this thing is good to go um, and reliable and sort out all any issues that this thing has. So I've been trying to drive this thing. Um, but as you can see, I've got jackets, backpacks, hats, everything just laying around in here. I, like I said, I daily drive this thing pretty much um and i have about a two mile drive to work so it is short drives it it barely warms up by the time i get to work so a lot of times i have to take a a little extra route in order for her to get a, to get her warmed up um and make sure she's good to go because short drives are definitely not good for uh any car so i make the extra effort to uh, leave a little extra early even though i have a short drive to work to just drive it around um, and take the long way to work just to make sure she's good to go. But yeah, I mean, practicality wise, one more could you ask for in a sedan? Lots of room in the back seat, real big comfy seats, front and rear. Um, everyone that gets in the car is like, dang, these things are, <laughs> these things are comfy, it's like a couch. Um, but yeah, practicality, uh, I gotta give it a size like, coming from a sedan owner or whatever, uh, probably eight or nine out of 10. Uh, coming into the interior, one of the things that I, uh, I really dislike about these cars, and uh, I tried real hard to find uh, a car without it, but uh, as a lot of BMW owners or people looking for, for these cars know, uh, the double hump, which is the cluster and the nav hump, uh, comes with obviously the infotainment system. Uh, it is garbage. It's pretty much useless. It sucks. Uh, the usability of it, the use, it's not user friendly. Um, it's, it's pretty much, I get in the car and I just, I turn the display off. I, I don't even use it. Uh, the screen and everything is pretty much there. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, I, I don't want to say that I, uh, um, I hate it but it's just, it, it's just useless. Um, yeah, that's, that's probably the only thing I really don't, I don't like about the car, uh, is just the infotainment system is trash, but they do make, um, like retrofits for, uh, like an updated system, which eventually I'll probably get to, uh, doing that and, uh, figuring that out. So you can use Apple CarPlay and, you know, hook your phone right up to it. Other than that, I literally just use a little dongle and a friggin' iPhone connector for my music and everything else. Um, but yeah. Um, another thing to note about the, I don't say the interior of the vehicle, but uh, just about the mechanicals uh, of the car. 
the trans in these things are a little bit noisy um the manual trans at least they're they're clunky they have a lightweight flywheel they make noise it's normal but i could see and i have seen people complain about it uh in forums on on facebook and stuff like that but just wanted to note that yes the manual trans in these things are a little bit noisy and uh can be a little concerning but it is it is 100 percent normal you just kind of got to get used to it um and that's about it all right so last thing about the interior of the vehicle um is this car does come with uh does have edc uh which is a nice feature to have i get in the car and my stuff is already is all set to uh the max sport mode both power and suspension mode so it tightens up the steering tightens up the suspension and also uh improves your throttle response which is all super nice uh but you know you always have that adjustability of uh moving it into comfort mode and stuff like that and it really really softens everything up makes the steering a lot easier uh makes the suspension real nice and cushy and soft and just think kind of just floats down the highway i like stiff suspension stiff steering that's just kind of my thing um but you know if you're looking for a sedan that has the adjustability and options to be able to change all that a car with edc um option is uh, for you definitely all right hopping back out of the car um let's talk about gas mileage and uh like practicality in the sense of you know how much money am i going to be spending on this drive daily driving this thing um so i did the math uh over the last four months three thousand miles uh the average gas price in my area in Naperville, illinois is about four dollars and 20 cents for premium gas um so three thousand miles in four months comes out about for a roundup uh to about eight hundred dollars uh in the last four months or about $50 a week I've spent on, on driving this thing. And mind you, I live two miles from work, so I don't drive very far. I really, I, I go to and from work pretty much every day, um, and that's about it. But all the mileage really comes from my weekends and uh, going out and, um, you know, doing car events, going to car shows and stuff like that. But I don't want to say it's a, a, it's not a cheap car drive. Uh, it gets about, the best 21 miles per gallon if i try hard at 70 miles per hour in sixth gear on the highway um and then when i beat on her uh 10 12 9 around there um so it's uh she's definitely uh she definitely eats up the gas but again you know that's kind of the territory you're getting into when you're when you're buying a, a v8 especially a, a euro v8 that is uh you know a big sedan with 420 horsepower which is eh, power for a 3500 pound car so yeah about 50 bucks a week uh basically so i've spent on this week on this thing in gas so. um and that's pretty much about it i um like i said i just want to give a little summary of my I don't want to say brief ownership, but four month ownership and 3,000 miles I've put on this thing in the last four months. Um, and like, this thing has quickly become probably my favorite of the 20 some cars I've owned over the last, I don't know, since I was 16. Um, it rivals only to my 2006 Legacy GT, which I fell in love with and uh, owned that thing for four years. Uh, just the uh, practicality and the use I got out of that thing um, was incredible. But like I said, this has quickly over the last four months become probably my favorite car I've owned over Evos 135s, 335s, um, STIs, E46 M3, um, and a whole slew of other of other cars and chassis that I've owned. Uh, this thing, every time you get in it, is an experience. Um, this S65, especially with a straight pipe exhaust, uh, it really puts a smile on your face. Uh, maybe not so on my neighbor's faces every time I get in it, but definitely on my face uh, every time I drive it. Um, I just, I, I can't get a smile off my face. Um, it's not the cheapest car to own, both gas, maintenance, parts, um, modifications, etc., are not cheap, uh, unfortunately. But again, that's kind of the, 
that is the territory you're getting into when you're buying one of these things. But I hope uh, my summarization of my ownership so far uh, maybe helps someone in the in the market for one. Uh, maybe gives them a little idea of what they're getting into or you know what they have to look forward to. But uh, that's that, that's about it. Hope y'all enjoyed the video, and I'm just gonna enjoy the rest of my day here in uh, in Dixon. So. Uh, have a great day, weekend, whatever it may be when I'm, when I'm catching you. And uh, peace out.